Hello YouTube, Jar of Bricks here with another update. I've done a few things within the city, but first of all, let me show you what I've done here. One thing that always annoyed me was, um, uh, it actually looks a little bit brighter through the camera, but looking with my eyes, that corner is quite dark until I do that. So I bought um, a lighting strip for it she looks a little bit bluer through the camera it's a bit whiter with my real eyes but there you go and it's all nicely lit up there's a bit of a car jam there but all the way down to the other corner so really pleased with uh, how that's turned out I would like to not actually see the LED strip just the light shining down but because of the picture of the roof it's almost impossible um, so there it is. So that's the first update that I've done. Uh, secondly, I finished this um, skyscraper. Again, really pleased with the way it's turned out. It took a lot of brickling orders to get that done. Um, pretty much every layer there is 100 bricks. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, you know, getting on for one and a half thousand, uh, one by two nugget, medium nugget bricks there. So that's quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, really pleased anyway. Um, I put these little, uh, you can see on there, the little teeth of the same color. I just thought it'd give it a little bit of a extra feature than just being flat and then at the top using the um, roof from the uh, the building next to the birch box so that's that now if you remember from the last update that I did I um, made a bit of a mess trying to work out where these new road plates are going and I got carried away and this happened so I just took the board up and made a little channel and that's going to be um, a canal through running through the city I painted it just to uh, give you an idea of what it is because uh, I haven't got the plates the blue plates to go down there yet so I uh, don't know how long it's going to take me to collect everything together. So I've got spending and spending a lot um, in January. I hope my wife isn't listening to this. Um, so I thought I'd just paint it temporarily for now. I saw someone on Instagram do this with the um, uh, profile brick side on to make uh, it look like cobbled paving. And it's the perfect height there just to have a uh, plate on the side of it as well the tile sorry not a plate um, so yeah that will start to take shape now I'm not gonna be able to get another 32 by 32 base plate there as it comes up to just just hangs over slightly over the river if it does so I have two choices either make this new road sorry this existing road like the um, the road from the uh, the new one which is 16 by 16 which will allow extra space there to walk along the river or alternatively I've got three 32 by 32 base plates there I take out the middle 32 by 32 base plates on each side and replace it with a 16 by 16 building um, there so I'm going to cross that bridge when I come to it not sure what I'm going to do yet um, so let me just go to the other hole so we're over here, Chinatown has moved just in front of here, temporarily of course. Um, this road is the size of the 16 by 16 base plate, it's a little bit tight. Although this, if I once I get the um, another one of those strips to go across this wall, it'll light it all up nicely, I think. Um, as you can see, I've moved my hospital to this location. It couldn't fit before because it was too tall and neither could Sesame Street. Um, but because of the new road, I was able to push it forward, which enables me to get bigger buildings at the back of here. I've um, also 
moved the train station. Let me try and zoom in. Can't quite see it because of the track, but it's the same as it was on the other side. I have um, modified the roof, make it look a little bit better, I think, um, than it did before. So, and there's the bad guy's hideout next to it with nothing uh, next to that. I don't know if the bad guy's hideout is going to go there. It's a bit of a daft position to have a hideout next to a train station and a load of skyscrapers with supposedly lots of people looking out their windows at what the bad guys are doing. So, not the wisest of situations. So, that will be going across uh, the river somewhere, probably in that corner. And uh, now it's nicely lit up. Uh, what else have I done? I don't think I've done anything else, but as you can see, the city is uh, a big mess. I've got stuff everywhere except on this empty table. And I've just uh, painted a little bit here as well. I have a little bit of a hangover. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with that, but I thought, what the heck, may as well. Um, it's going to be a, a bit of a strange situation along here, so when the train track comes pa back along there, uh, if I use this system for the uh, cobbled stone road, then everything's going to be two plates higher because of the thickness of the brick, which means that uh, every single building that I have here will have to be plated um, with two plates along the bottom to give it that extra height so that those cobblestones uh, don't look too shabby. The alternative for a cobblestone is, let me just try and get in here, is to do it like that style there, which is just the um, uh, one by one round tile that I've done there. Um, going off telling me my tea is done so I need to get down to the oven um, so thank you for watching hope you uh, like this update this very messy update uh, when I come next and do one it will probably be the new year now um, hopefully look a little bit tidier I don't know if the new sets would have arrived by the time I do a next city, um, but we'll see. So thank you again for watching and goodbye.